Today is Halloween and I'm going to spend it with you guys. No parties, no trick-or-treating, no crazy activities for me today. It is a fall night routine and I'm excited to bring you guys along. I haven't done a fall night routine in so long, let alone one where it's so like festive and fun and I guess this isn't gonna be particularly a routine of mine since every night looks a little bit different, especially tonight. This past Halloween, I went off on the Friday and the Saturday so we're taking it chill today that it's Tuesday. Now before we get into the video, I wanted to say this video is sponsored by Supernatural. Before we get into that, let's continue with the night routine. First thing I'm gonna do tonight is book an Uber to HomeSense because I haven't been fall shopping yet and I really wanna go check out the candles, the decorations, see if there's anything I want. And oh, before that, I'm gonna get a Starbucks just because I feel like I need a little fun drink for the night. Oh, we also need to go to the grocery store to get the ingredients for the soup we're gonna make. This is my outfit of the day or of the night, we shall say. My jacket is from Oakenford. My pink top is from Lucan. My bag is Michael Kors. My jeans are Urban and I'm wearing Uggs. Sense. I bought the cutest little apron. I think this is such a vibe. It's gonna be perfect for my cooking because and baking because I really want to get in the cooking and baking spirit this festive season. I feel like last year I did so much cooking and baking and I kind of fell off for like the whole year. Like I have not been cooking. So this is getting me back into the groove of it. I think this one is very like chic and cute. It doesn't make me look like a mom. How adorable. I'm obsessed. Guys, we are making such a delicious dinner tonight. I'm honestly kind of scared because we're making a soup and I haven't made a soup in a while and this is one that I've never made. But soup is really easy to make so I feel like it should be fine. It's just that it's a little time consuming and I really want to get my workout in today. So what do we think? I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. I love, I love, I love. Also, I know this isn't really fall related. It's kind of giving Christmas, but I bought these cute little gnomes for Christmas. I think these are so cute. I got a white one and a pink one and I saw Luna Montana have these as decorations in her apartment last year. So creds to her if for some reason she sees this, but I thought it was super cute and I love the way she decorated. So I'm excited to have my own little elves this year. I found this recipe online and it looked very delicious. I just searched up fall recipes on Pinterest and this is the one that really spoke to me. It it is cozy autumn wild rice soup. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a big soup girl. I love soup, all kinds of soup. I love ramen, I love pho, pho. I love tortilla soup, I love pozole, I love noodle soup. Oh, crema broccoli, mmm. Anyways, I love all types of soup. I even just love this plain old vegetable soup when my mom makes it, that's actually my favorite soup. Anyways, I found this recipe and I was like, that is the one that I need. I kinda like that it's a little bit interchangeable. I feel like most soups, you can kinda switch in the ingredients or do whatever you want. And one of the things that I did was, I didn't get the mushrooms cause I'm not really a big mushroom gal, but let me show you what I bought. I bought two little vegetable stalks. I got the low sodium one because I feel like there's not that much of a difference in the taste and it's obviously way healthier for you. I bought two, I think it's sweet potato. The recipe asked for wild rice, so we got that. I got one purple onion, three little garlic cloves, coconut milk, I got the light version. Again, I think it's healthier, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Also got some carrots, but it asked for two big carrots, so I don't know, I just bought a bunch. And then this is random, I bought cucumbers and tomatoes, but that's not for this recipe, that's just for me. But some veggies that I already have that I'm gonna use in this recipe is kale low-key I don't know if this has gone bad but we're gonna use this and we're also gonna use some celery we also need bay leaf 
herbs, which I have, and it said base seasoning, which I don't know if I have. I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna put some music over it. You guys are just gonna watch a beautiful montage of me literally being the chef from Ratatouille. Yay for, oh, ow, I just stepped on my tripod. Yay for home cooking. I'm gonna film a TikTok at the same time. Pro tip for all my content creators out there, if you are doing something, try to film it in a bunch of different ways. Like I'm gonna cook this, I'm gonna film it for YouTube. I'm gonna film a TikTok like voiceover of me just doing the soup recipe and then at the same time I'm doing Snapchat like behind the scenes. That way you get a lot of content and you're getting the most out of it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna play some Faye Webster. Is that how you say her name? Guys, so embarrassing. In my, oh my God, actually there's there's two embarrassing things. I made a video, the Coquette room tour, and the whole time I say Coquette in it and everyone's trolling me in the comments being like, Coquette, it's Coquette. Got it. Second thing is, there's this band. Obviously I don't know them that well because I don't even remember the name of it. Oh, the band is called TV Girl and I love their music. Whenever I get obsessed with songs, I just listen to the songs. I usually don't know much about the artist. I'm not like a huge become obsessed with the artist. Kind of person anyways so i printed a picture of their album cover or something on my wall and i'm like talking in the video being like yeah tv girl is a girl she's a singer and she sings a song that i love turns out it's a band and the main singer is a man like girl you're embarrassing yourself <laughs> why would i say that why would i say that i obviously hadn't listened to the song in a while but anyways i'm playing faye webster and i'm actually going to her concert again don't roast me for the fact that i just had to double check her name but my friend got tickets for like literally 25 dollars each and i was like i love so many of her songs so let's go so i'm gonna play her i think my favorite song is i know you or kingston but literally all of her songs are so good and it's so fall vibe Okay, the soup is done. It low-key doesn't really look like the photo, but this is my first day making soup. It's supposed to look like this masterpiece here. You can't really see it, but it's like super bright and saturated. You are supposed to saute the vegetables first before you put them in with the soup. And then you were also supposed to not put the kale in at the beginning. The kale goes last because you want it to still be green and not like mushy brown. And I put everything in at the same time. And then I went freestyle on the seasoning. a little bit later I have ate I have digested now as you guys know I love working out I usually do workout classes or I go to the gym recently now that it's been getting into the time change it gets dark so early and I get so lazy to go to the gym like if I don't get it done in the morning it's just not happening and not only that but it's so cold and raining it just doesn't give me the vibes that I want to go to the gym so I've been doing home workouts and maybe that's floor mat or maybe that's jumping or in this particular case I'm gonna talk to you guys about the sponsor for today's video which is supernatural now, I'm gonna talk about Supernatural for a little bit, but that is because it is something that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And when I was approached by Supernatural to work with them, I was so excited because my family actually got for Christmas last year. I have already had some experience, and when they reached out to me, I was like, this will be really fun to include in a video. So, let me tell you about Supernatural. So, first of all, here is what my MetaQuest 3 looks like it's a full on mask, okay? Supernatural is a fitness and like meditation wellness app where you can do a whole bunch of things. The workout 
that I have been loving recently is the boxing and the flow, but there is also a meditation feature, which I think is great for people like me who enjoy that like yoga, spiritual vibe. I feel like whenever I do meditation, I really just get to sit with myself, sit with my thoughts and knowing that you can do that on this app and like see such beautiful sceneries, it's so cool. In particular, we are gonna talk about the boxing and the flow today and we're actually gonna do it together because let me tell you guys, I've been doing this a lot recently and I finish sweating. You're basically guaranteed to have your heart rate pumping, you're gonna be breaking a sweat, you'll be placed in so many breathtaking locations and you also get to be taught by inspiring coaches that will uplift you and not only will they kind of like yell at you but you're also like inspired because they're super fit. I'll be wearing this mask and they're like, say it with me, yeah, and I'm over here like, yeah. So like I'm cheering along with them. I think it's super fun also trying virtual reality if you haven't already, just because if you haven't done it before, it's like insane. You really feel like you're there and it takes you away from being in this like rainy outdoorsy weather to like a beautiful landscape in front of you. Supernatural is a membership based fitness service. It is exclusively designed for the Quest 2, 3 and the Quest Pro virtual reality sets. It literally has hundreds of workouts for you to choose from and they're also rhythm mapped. So you really feel like you're like dancing and immersed in the music that they're playing. And also speaking of the music, they have so many good music options. Just yesterday I was doing a Halloween one and it was like all spooky music. I felt like I was really embracing the spirit while also being active. They also have Latin music from my little Latinas in the corner. It's very fun. I was doing a little Shakira song. There are also new workouts released every single day. And they also give you a lot of fitness tips and give you routine tips and like personal routines for yourself and your fitness goals. You guys obviously know working out releases so much serotonin and dopamine it is so good for you and not only working out like I feel like I've done a lot of weightlifting but doing exercises that actually involve you stretching and like moving your body they're so good for you because you get so much more flexible and the literal lymphatic system in your body like everything is getting drained everything is moving you feel so much more relaxed and you get so much better sleeps when you do these types of workouts so this has been such a fun and great tool for improving my physical and mental well-being I feel like this is also great if you don't really like working out in front of a lot of people or you hate working out so this is like a super fun and motivating way to do so or you like working out when it's kind of a game but anyways I'm just gonna get started this is my MetaQuest 3 as I've said it comes with two little nunchuck looking things that you got to wear the wristbands with it but I'm gonna start playing I'm probably gonna do a 15 minute boxing workout and then a 15 minute flow workout and then I'm just gonna play some fun music it's honestly so fun I'm kind of excited I need to like get into the mentality that like I'm gonna start sweating I'm gonna be moving around Around. I bring my water bottle with me. I am ready to go I just need you guys to not mind the fact that my 22 balloons are still up as you know It was just my birthday and also if I look super embarrassing Let's not mind that because I'll have you know I'm having a great time <laughs> There's just like no possible way to make this look cute in my opinion because I'm always just like so into it But I've got my full black activewear set and I feel like a ninja I'm gonna do a Post Malone boxing workout. It's 18 minutes long. Medium intensity. Supernatural offers an unparalleled level of efficiency. The combination of immersive virtual reality experience and expertly curated routines ensures that every session is not only enjoyable, but it's also highly effective. It's so weird. I'll get old. Guys, I'm literally sweating. I look so bad. I'm so tired and I'm not even done. Now I'm gonna do the flow. Tell me you're the one for me. I let you if you trust in me. Tiny race, I'm chasing running with no love in me. Right round it goes. Tell me what you love seeing. Apply pressure when the wolves bleeding. I move better when I got nothing that's stuck to me. Right on. Okay, 
I'm so tired. I'm done. The workouts that I did was an 18 minute Post Malone boxing workout. It was the intermediate level and then the one that I just did was literally like an 8 minute flow workout. It was the song Splish Splash I was taking a bath. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really exhausted. That was really tiring. I hope you enjoyed watching me do this workout experience with Supernatural. If you have the chance to play VR, I highly recommend trying Supernatural because it is super fun. And especially just during the fall and the autumn, I feel like making sure that we remember to stay active and take care of our well-being is just like such a crucial part to beat the winter blues, as some might say. I feel like that's especially a big thing for me. And I'm definitely going to be using this workout to stay active and stay fit through this season. I feel like this is such a good Christmas wish list idea also. As I said earlier, my parents literally bought this for themselves last Christmas and they loved it and they still use it to this day. It was actually super exciting. I got to like add them when I got my own. So now we can follow each other and our fitness journey and see what either me or my mom or my dad, what everyone's getting in their score because you can like accumulate points and log in how many days you're actually working out. Supernatural is actually 18 plus, but I think that from above that age, it's like good for anybody. Like my parents love it, my brother love it. Um, my boyfriend actually tried it and he thought it was really fun. You guys can purchase a MetaQuest VR headset plus one year of Supernatural and receive 50% off your annual Supernatural membership. There's easy financing available through Affirm, which allows for monthly billing and lowered upfront investments. There's also a new lower annual subscription price. So yeah, if you guys wanna learn more about Supernatural, make sure to check out the links in my description. I'll have all of the information and all of the stuff that you guys are trying to look for down there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me do it. And thank you so much to Supernatural for sponsoring this portion of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed me watching me get my workout on. I appreciate you guys and I had so much fun filming this. Now let's get on to the rest of the video. Now I would be lying to you guys if I told you that I wasn't sweating. So I am gonna hop into the shower, just get a warm little shower, feel good before I go to sleep. I'm not gonna wash my hair just because I have extensions in. It's so hard to manage, but I am gonna shower and I'm gonna do some dry brushing before and do a little shower routine. I'll show you the products that I've been using. get into the skincare part of the night because my skin needs it so bad. I've got some peppermint tea here. It's so hot, but it's so good. I grew up having peppermint tea, so it really, really hits for me. Today we're gonna do some skincare. I have a few different products that I wanna try with you guys. This isn't sponsored, obviously, but the first one is this Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peel. I think it's like an exfoliant, and if I'm being honest with you, my skin is breaking out so bad. Like, whenever I watch my old videos of when I was in 2020, or 2021 even 2022 okay if I'm being honest it's only been bad for like two months but 2021 was like it was my skin's peak era I had perfect skin all throughout my youth and just recently which maybe it's due to traveling and stress but my skin has been so bad I feel like it just looks dull the dark spots are worse than ever I feel like I've gained so many freckles it might just be a little aging process which is traumatizing to think about but I feel like my dad has a lot of like freckles and spots so with time they might just start appearing on my forehead. My skin hasn't just been doing well and I'm thinking maybe I just need to go get more facials. I probably could improve my sleep, my water intake, being healthier, like just all of the above. But if anyone has any tips for dealing with acne like pimples, congestedness, blackheads, pores, <laughs> mainly it's on my forehead. It has been all the rave as you guys probably know to watch get ready with me TikToks and get unready with me and just like all of those little get ready with me accounts and this past month I really got in my TikTok era and you know when they say like oh you just need to start posting and you'll see growth they're not lying about it I mean obviously
obviously everyone is different, but I feel like it didn't grow on TikTok for so long just because I wasn't really producing quality content. I was just like producing like behind the scenes, talking videos, many thirst traps that were not even thirst trapping, just random videos. And in September and October, I started posting quality content that I was actually putting in effort to film and I grew like 60,000 followers in like a month. So now I've been on a little bit of a TikTok grind. I say that only because I'm doing a little get on ready with me right now and it just reminded me of that. But if you guys don't follow me on TikTok already, my account is just Fernanda Ramirez with two A's in my last name. I just put some of this. This is the Biosance Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil. Vitamin C is really good for brightening your face and like the dark spots on your face. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. This is also by Biosance. This is the Squalene Omega Repair Cream. And I've been using this recently and I've really been liking it. Guys, I also have a question. I'm actually so embarrassed, but this summer I filmed so many vlogs like me going to the cabin with my friends, Jacob's birthday, we went jet skiing and I never uploaded the vlogs just because there was never like a right time. I don't know. I just kept posting other videos and not that vlog. And now I just feel so sad because I don't want that footage to go to waste, but it's literally from the summer and I feel awkward going into Christmas and just like the winter season and I'm going to be posting all this like winter content and I don't just want to like plop a summer vlog in there. But do you guys think that I should upload the vlog or do something with that footage? Because I feel like you guys would really like to see it, but I also have a feeling that if I post it, it would get like no views, which maybe is wrong. The ones that care and the ones that are really there for me would watch like all my content, but because I spend so long editing my videos, I don't want to spend so long editing this vlog that nobody's going to watch, if that makes sense. Maybe I should just upload it, but let me know if you think that would be weird. Like I'm doing autumn and fall content and all of a sudden I just plop in a summer vlog. Embarrassing for me. But anyways, I just used the Drunk Elephant C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I love Drunk Elephant. And this really seems to be the rave with kids these days. That's so cringe. But like actually my whole For You page, whenever I see like high school kids, they have so much Drunk Elephant. Also guys, speaking of high school kids, I'm 22 now. <laughs> I feel like I didn't really talk about it in my birthday vlog because I was just shooting like all my birthday content and I didn't really give like a little reflection on being 22. And I definitely did give my honest thoughts on my podcast, but not on here. And I know most of you guys watch me on here, but I can't believe I'm 22. I feel like 20 was a great age. I love being 20. 21 was like, oh my God, I'm 21 and fun. 22 was like, <laughs> I'm 22. Obviously 22 is still so young in the grand scheme of things, but it feels like a weird age where you're starting to go into the real world and like all the time kind of surrounding yourself or hanging out with people that are like 25, 26, 27, 24, like people that are older than you. And you're like the baby of the older people, but you're also the oldest person of the younger people, if that makes sense. Like now I feel like I'm like so far removed from high school. I would even be graduated college if I was in college, like that's psychotic. And sometimes I'll be going to the club and I'm like, why does everybody look 17? Like I feel old. <laughs> These are retinal Sika focusing patches from Innisfree. It says they're patches with dissolving micro needles that provide intensive care to stressed or problem areas. I need that. I feel like you can't see it in this lighting. Look at my forehead. It's just so congested. That ain't it. Hopefully they stick onto my face even though I just put so much moisturizer on. I feel like I need to use this whole patch. Like I have problem areas everywhere. Ooh, it's a little spiky. It says it had little micro needles, but when I put it on, it like actually low key kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use like half of these because my skin needs desperate help. Okay, wait, it's said to hold down for 10 seconds. Guys, I'm so tired. It's like 12 right now. I wanted this to be like a night routine where I'd go to bed really early, but it's just not me. I've been sleeping so late recently, especially because I've been having so many birthdays and like going out moments on the weekend. And whenever I go out, y'all know. Well, actually, I don't know if you know, but I hope you know. I'm not, I'm not the girl that's going home at 11 p.m. or even 12. I am staying out with the last person until the last person leaves. So I've been going to bed at like 4 a.m. like every weekend for the past like four weekends. And then during the week, I'll be going to bed at like one or two or 12. So my night routine has been crazy recently and I'm trying to get it back to normal. That's why I feel like filming these videos are fun for me when I'm trying to get my life back together. And speaking of that, I should probably just make a video of getting my life back together. The last step is some La Neige lip balm. I'm feeling very relaxed, honestly. I'm gonna apply some cover spray. It's like perfume for your bed and it smells so good. I use it all the time. So now whenever I smell it, it actually associates like the smell of bed to me. Okay, I'm really hoping these do something. I just took my contacts 
out so I can't see anything, but hopefully you guys can see me. I want to show you guys some of the gifts that I got for my birthday. Starting off with the cutest little bunny. I love bunny stuffies and I already have two. My friends gave me like a whole little gift basket and like some of the stuff is missing so I can't even show you guys. But they got me the cutest fluffy robe. They got me little packets to make margaritas. Birthday vibe, you know what I'm saying? They got me two of those. There's three things here I want to show you guys. They also gave me a whole bunch of candy and cards and a few other things. So this isn't really a full in-depth what I got for my birthday. But it's just some of the stuff I want to show you. I'm so excited about this. They got me the cutest little cherry journal. I'm pretty sure this is from Chad. Chapters and it says let it grow slow it down. That's it let it grow and slow it down And it's just a little journal. I feel like this is really cute I'm not exactly sure what I should use this for but my planner also has cherries on it So I feel like they will go really cute together The second thing they got me it was this journal and I'm actually so excited for this because I've never had anything like this You can kind of see what it says on there, but I think this is like a prompted journal for questions of your inner child Random, but I think it's so fun. They basically just have questions on the top and then lined pages and it's a whole bunch of different questions. One says, describe your physical appearance as a teenager. How aware were you of how you looked and how did you feel about your body? I'll answer three actually for you guys because I feel like that's fun. Um, describe my physical appearance as a teenager. I was so skinny when I was a teenager. Like when I was 14, 15, I was in cheerleading. I was so small and skinny. And I don't even mean that in like a, ooh, she was a model skinny. I mean like I was so petite. And I think this was because I was in gymnastics and like my puberty was actually stunted. Like I was, I was a child looking girl. I remember going into grade nine and someone asking like, why are they let a 10 year old in here? And I was scarred, but I did have abs for some reason. Again, because I was in gymnastics, like I was really, really fit. I never thought anything about it. I was honestly really happy to be fit. I was flat chested though until like actually grade 12. So that was kind of sad. But other than that, I feel like I was pretty aware, but didn't mind it because I was always active. Ooh, there's like an adulthood section. I feel like I'm not really in that one yet, but this one says, what noises did you hear when you woke up in the morning? Go into as much detail as you can. I think this this is from your youth, childhood and family. Okay, what noises I heard. When I would wake up before school, I would always hear the birds chirping, which was such a nostalgic feeling for me whenever I hear birds in the morning. Or I would hear my family cooking. That was also a great memory because my parents would cook me breakfast every single morning. And both of them would like chef up some beautiful looking breakfasts and they would bring it to me while I was getting ready for school. So that was a core memory. One says, what is the history behind your family's name? I honestly don't know. That's something I could look into. And then from the adulthood questions. Okay, I'm not even in these yet. This is talking about your spouse. It's not there yet. There's a young adulthood section. The first time I drove a car. Well, I got my L, which is like your learners in BC here. I was so scared. And one day my dad just put me in the car and said, you have to drive to work. And I started crying because I was like, I don't know how to drive. And he was like, nope, drive to work. And I was on the highway and honestly, it was definitely exposure therapy, but I was scarred because I was so scared of driving and it ended up being fine. Like obviously I got there safely, but I was so freaking scared. But I guess that taught me to face my fears and fully fledge forward into something that you don't wanna do. And then one of the other things they got me as a gift were these face masks from Dr. Jart. I actually love Dr. Jart. They're such a good like skincare brand. So if you guys wanna see a little skincare or even get unready with me's, follow me on TikTok cause you know I'll be doing these. I also got so I got so many other gifts. I got a little red bag for my mom that was super cute. She brought me back this little like evil eye, but she said it's called the good eye. She got this from Europe. Oh, I got, oh my God, I wish I could show you guys. I got a new pair of shoes from Jacob. They're so cute. They're like hot pink. Maella made me like the cutest drawings ever. They're like paintings. And that's something that I'm going to really cherish because it's so beautiful and handmade. I also got a little picnic basket, like so I can go on picnic from Jacob. My mom got me a Miss Dior perfume. That was amazing. I feel brain dead. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this night routine. It was very casual and chill and fun, but I had a very good time. I got to cook. I got my sweat in. I got to talk to you guys. I feel like I haven't done that in a minute. Thank you again to Supernatural for sponsoring today's video. I had so much fun working with you guys. I love you guys.